Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with a blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. I'm gonna review one of my Grail watches. Um, and Grail watch is basically a timepiece that you you lust after is often out of the range of affordability in one way or another, or something you've just sort of been into for years and years and years, and then you finally get to uh, to check out. So this is a 50 Fathoms um, by Blanc Pond, and Blanc Pond has been making 50 Fathoms for a while, and this is sort of in the um, 50s and such when, and even before, but probably, start. I think it started around the 50s. It was really this kind of like dive watch challenge where you had brands like Rolex and Blanc Pond coming together, all trying to create the best dive watches and go the deepest and, and be the best this, the best that. Blanc Pond, I think in the past used like um, certain like types of like, they, they had like, a lot, a lot of brands had this radioactive material um, to create the luminescence on the dial. And then eventually they had the non-radioactive version. So they had the no rads dial. They had like a, a symbol on the dial basically saying that our loom is not radioactive. Um, and, and the reason I mention that is because this generation, um, this is the 50,000, basically the 5015 series. This generation has a lot of the classic look. Um, of the sort of originals. You have that simple dial, that bezel there. And it's just, this is a fantastic watch. It's about, I think it's about 45 millimeters wide. It's a large watch, which I love. Um, um, you know, it's steel, uh, very nicely polished case. I mean, really just a great case. I think when it comes down to it, there's a couple of like iconic um, like luxury dive watches out there. Um, and there's, the, you know, there's the Rolex, the, the Submariner, um, you know, the, obviously the deep sea versions as well. And, and the Blanc Pond is up there, you know, sort of really gives uh, the Rolex a run for its money. I mean, in a sense, this is this is a more expensive and luxurious watch. But, you know, I think that this is the type of thing that can easily compete um, with that sort of iconic look because it is just such a beautiful watch. I mean, for me, this is just extremely attractive and I'm just, I, I love this piece so much. This came out several years ago before uh, ceramic bezels were popular. So what this one has is a sapphire bezel, but it's actually very interesting. The sapphire bezel is is domed, it's curved, and that's very difficult to do. So when you see sapphire bezels, the most watches will have a perfectly flat one, but this sort of domed quality where it's curved uh, of the sapphire bezel insert is very complicated. And then you have the sapphire crystal itself, which is sort of also curved um, at the end. So it, it is gently domed, but it's very much curved at the ends there to sort of replicate the look of an acrylic crystal. But it's done very, very well. Legibility is very good. There is a little bit of glare on here, of course, because it is a curved crystal, but the AR coating works quite well. And so you have a great amount um, of legibility. Luminant on the hands as well as the, the indicators inside the bezel is excellent. Very, very good loom and legibility is good. Um, there's a date, of course, hiding there underneath those hands. Um, and this watch is a true diver, water resistant to 300 meters. Now, this strap is kind of like a, almost like a canvassy material, but it's it's great. It feels good. It's very, very pliable. Um, it's just a great strap. And this watch also comes on a metal bracelet, which I think looks great as well. So let's let's get this watch on here. I just I've just always loved this thing. For me, this has just been such um, an attractive timepiece. It's just uh, it's it's a classic for me. Um, it does so much well. I love I love the sound that, that the rotating bezel makes there. Just a very distinct kind of like loud click. I don't know, like dive watch people are really into little things like what sound does the bezel make when it turns? It's just we love little little nonsense like that. But it's a it's it's part of the enjoyment. Inside the watch is an in-house made Blanc Pond movement. I believe this has the 1315, which is an automatic, but also has a huge power reserve of something like 120 hours. And what I like about that is when you have a bunch of watches in your collection, you're not just going to be wearing one all the time. So having a really long power reserve means you can just sort of wear it and assuming it's it's relatively wound, you don't have to like, you know, think about winding it because you basically it's like I don't even know what 120 was like five days. It's some some long amount like that where you don't have to worry about winding it. So I've just sort of had this thing, worn it, put it down, and then gone back like three days later and it's still running. I'm like, wow, that's that's really fantastic. Um, as is the case with Blanc Pond on a lot of their watches, you have that that logo 
right there engraved to the side of the case. And there's different versions of the 50 fathoms, as you'll see. There's also the 500 fathoms, um, which is uh, a titanium version that has a little bit different look. Also an excellent looking piece, but this for me is like just the core design. There's also chronograph versions, and I think there's a blue color dial, but you know, the black and steel one, this is just a, a, a beautiful classic and something that, that is uh, you know, very, very sort of close to my heart as being a highly desirable um, Swiss watch. So again, the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms, this is the uh, 5015 uh, model. Um, the retail price is 14500 and you can see the full review soon on a blog to watch. Thanks. Mm -hmm.